G'day guys, it's Jake here. So I'm just starting the stream at the moment, which I don't know if it's going, but I assume it is. It says I am live. So today what I'm doing is showing you how to use the planner inside of Microsoft Teams. Now I just did a live stream on this before and it didn't work. So as you can see up here, I've got project one, which was one that I did earlier. So anyway, I am going to redo it now and hopefully it just works properly 100% the first time. So what Planner is, is it's a basic project management software that comes inside of um, some of the Office 365 plans and also Microsoft 365. You can check to see if you can have it. You can also get it by itself. But now this is a basic project management plan. Planner is a basic project management software is what I'm trying to say doesn't have like all of your budgeting and stuff but it does allow you to create tasks and allocate them to people so what you can do inside of Microsoft Teams is embed the planner app into your team into your channel so pretty much to add a planner what you want to do is hit this plus saying add a new tab and in here we just select planner and what will happen is it will uh, create a plan and what I'm going to do is create a plan for a server migration and if you have that tick box there ticked it will post to the channel saying that you've created a uh, new plan so what we can do here is how it's broken up is we've got these buckets so you can see here they're just basically up and down so you can make your tasks first in no particular order so let's say for a server migration, we're going to need to find any software needs to be migrated. Uh, SAP move SQL. So as you can see, we've created all of these tasks now. These are all in my to-do bucket, but what I can do is create separate buckets for the different types of things. So what I'm gonna do is break it up into stages. So I'm gonna call it uh, pre-work or scoping. Uh, installation and migration so they're just going to be our three things so scoping and pre setup so what we're going to do here is we're going to move some of these around two different things so as you can see you can move the tasks and then what we can do also is we can reorder these tasks. So as you can see, it's gonna be hard to pay for the server and buy for the equipment, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna buy the equipment first and then pay for it afterwards and find any software that needs to be migrated. So that's part of our scoping. Our installation, we might also install physical hardware. We'll just have that too. So what we're going to do is install the physical hardware, install Windows Server, and then install Slap. Then we're going to do a test migration. We might even back up the server first, do a test migration, and then do the live migration. So what you can do with these things too now, um, that we've got them sectioned into buckets, is we can allocate these tasks to people. So if I click these little three dots here, gives us some options. You can either choose to put a label on it, so to give it color codes, but what we're gonna do here is assign it to someone. So I'm gonna assign it to Joni, and I might also assign installing Windows Server to Joni, and maybe our SAP administrator is Lynn. She also knows how to move Windows SQL Server, um, and we might do a test migration, will be both Joni and Lynn. 
So now you can see some of these are allocated to different people. Um, another thing you can do to help you manage all of this is set time frames. So if we actually click on it, we'll get a full description here. So we can see when we want to start it. So let's give it a start date and a finish date. Then you can see here, it gives you the little date that's due. And we also may want to do that here on this. We'll set one that's behind. So you can see when we're actually behind, when we're overdue, it turns red. Uh, when it's still okay, it turns no color. It's just whatever, you know, white, just normal color. Um, and you can reallocate it as well. Uh, so another thing you can do here is add a checklist, which that probably doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll do it on here. Check any installed programs and um, check. So you can set these checklists as well. And if you want, you can show them on the card. So something that is useful with this is you can actually tick off these things that are in the checklist. So as you tick them off, it says two out of three things of that task are done. And let's say we've um, finished that task, you can tick it there and it goes to completed. So that's basically the this view of what you can do in Planner. So that's basically all it can do in this view. Oh, well, I guess you can add some more comments and add attachments as well, but you know, and set them to in progress. So if there's multiple people, you know, you can see who's doing stuff, who's in progress, who's finished, who's started, who hasn't. If you want to do the, uh, so a schedule view, you can see here on a calendar what's done. So you can see we're meant to buy the equipment on the 10th of March, which today is the 26th of March. That's why it's red. Uh, we can also just drag tasks in to different dates and that will put them on the calendar. So this will give you a nice little view of what's coming up in a calendar view for the project. One thing that's not very good about this is you can't have multiple projects showing on the one calendar, as far as I know, anyway. If anyone does know how to do that, I'd like to know, so just uh, comment that below or something, or send me an email, let me know somehow. I'm on everywhere. Uh, just. Like